It's day five of the 2010 Federation of International Lacrosse Men's World Championships. Our first highlight of day five is from the match featuring Australia and Japan. They're against Super Slow Mo. We've got the best seat in the house. So the call was 100% right with his toe on the line. Wataru Sugu. It's his second goal of the game. Sorry, I think I've got something in my eye. The scoreboard says Japan 4, Australia 1. Is that right? I need to get some glasses. This is an absolutely incredible start here for Japan. And yet again, a Japanese player just runs past an Aussie, leaves him for dead. Japan got the transition, they got the fast break, the behind goal, popped it up front. Um, the save went from high to low, he changed the plane on the shot, but Williams read it all the way. Perham, goal. He's definitely got the hot stick at the moment. Egan drives into the, the back right. I think it was Egan, it might have been number eight for Australia. That's Marty Hyde. Outside shot, picks his corner. Top right corner, Lee Parham. Feels like Superman right now. Great follow through, 27. Has got to get help from inside there from 23 on the crease. Again, the Aussies now, it's still facing a six man zone. They've not found an answer to it. Moving the ball quickly around, which is great. Adam Sear has been quiet today. Egan up top. Fancy shot. Sear will fancy go. Oh! Stick side high. Oh, what a pick at one handed. And it's back to level again. Japan have got one the extra man. Oh, oh, wonderful play. Fantastic transition lacrosse. Gen Hasegawa to Arturo Tsugu. The Japanese, the one-handed pickup, full speed between two men, splits the defense, recognized cross-field pass, three, four, five fakes on the run, had two defenders chasing him, he leaves it to the last split second, and again Hasegawa, one, two, three, four. And Australian face-off again, Sir Robbie Stark, I think he was with the ball, inside, goal! Lee Perham. Took the ball on the run. I don't know, is that number six? Is it number seven? Lee Perham is <laughs> on fire today. Carries on running. The zone's moving the man. They need to run with the man. Lee Perham is the one guy with the hot hand. Number 20 passes him on. The short stick passes him on to nobody. There's nobody next to him. In what many thought was a shocker, Japan held on to beat Australia by a final score of 11 to 9. In our final match of day five, the host nation England had the formidable task of taking on the powerhouse from the United States of America. Well, the, knight, the knights in shining armor here this evening to support England. Give us your comments on the chat. It would be uh, fascinating to, uh, to have them. Here's a chance for England. A goal! England have scored. And the crowd are going mad here. Whoa. Here's the goal again. Oh. Let's watch this from the normal camera angle here. What a stop for England. Behind the back, incredible, in at the near post. Another goal for the United States here, and the United States goal. they've certainly found this long-distance shooting. Oh, again, same as before, it's just too fast for the England keeper. Yeah, it's just a little skip, Paul Abel goes to his left, and the number 99 is the man to watch later on in this tournament. In a gallant effort by England that was just not enough, the USA sailed to a 17-5 victory. 
in our Day 5 Play of the Day from the Australia-Japan match. Japan catches the Australia team off guard with the old hidden ball pass as Masayuki Kadoda scores an easy goal for Japan. Japan there, and of course, uh, ball. over time. And, and, and then, over time. And then, that, yes, that sideline ball. There is a national anthem going on on pitch two at the moment. A hidden ball trick oh. worked for the first time in the World Championships. The camera bought it, the crowd bought it, the Australian defence bought it. Superb play. I hope one of the cameras has caught that. One of the tricks in the Okay, cross. here we go. Tell us what happened here. Oh, <laughs> oh look at that. If we can just rewind that, what you have is a hidden ball trick. Two players get together. They both run away. One of them runs away, Crane. Okay, there you ball. go. Number four looks like he's given the ball and taking it off. He drives hop. He's a hot hand. He's been attacking. He takes the ball upfield. All the defence, the goalie looking in. <laughs> the other guy walks in, scores what the goal. Ball. Head and ball trick, superb work. <laughs> round of and applause inside the media centre. Yep, the, the whole of the world's media watching this, and there's a round of applause for what the fans. And did you see, like, the, the thing is, um, almost as good as the uh, trick. Just let's watch this in normal speed. And, and because play of the day right there for me. This I'm is sorry, the play of the day. There's no doubt about it. Let's watch this in normal speed and just watch the Japanese reactions afterwards because they all know that they've just done it. So there we go. They're all off. Number nine knows where it is. He's watching going, yes, and look at them. I, I, I'll tell you what, I've, I've been in the situation, I've played against Iroquois Nationals and been on the field while this happened. Every single one of those Australian defenders on the field now feels just wants the ground to open up and a hole to jump in it. Finally, in our blooper of the day, from the Scotland-Czech Republic game, the Czech Republic surprises the Scots with an easy goal due to an errant clear by Team Scotland. <laughs> Remember, lacrosse fans, you can watch all the matches in full from Manchester Live and On Demand at our website, www.247.tv. Remember, that's www.247.tv.